We begin at the Hamilton Harbor, where police have charged the operator of a boat named the On Safari that caught fire and sank. Police say the 39-foot bay liner struck a pier while returning to the marina with two people on board. Matt Ingram is at the harbor and joins us live with more. Matt. Adam, police say they've arrested a 28 year old man from Waterloo and charged him with operation of a vessel, impaired operation of a vessel, as well as failure to comply. Now, when officers arrived, they say that the man appeared to be intoxicated. He had a female passenger who's fine, but his boat is not. Take a look. Right now, the Port Authority has put a yellow boom around it in case of any fuel or other liquids leaking from the vessel. However, the Port Authority says at this time there's no indication any leak has occurred. They need a, someone to help. Mayday, mayday. Robert Tucker was just trying to take a nice picture of the sunset when he realized this image he captured showed black smoke coming from a boat. So he started recording video instead. And as the boat got closer to us, you could see that it was clearly on fire. Tucker recorded the Bayliner boat with the name Safari written on the back as it circled the water, eventually making it into the inner marina, despite its stern continuing to sink beneath the water. It started to get lower and lower, and I said, this boat's going to sink. So we started yelling at the people, get off that boat, get off that boat. But they didn't get off yet. You can see a female passenger at the stern of the lower level and the male operator in the wheelhouse. And then another boat pulled in and told the guy, take the boat out of here because if it catches fire, you're going to burn the other boat. Tucker says the operator turned the boat around and tried to leave, but it was too late. At that point, that boat, the bottom sank. It took on water and it quickly angled straight up in the air and started to sink. Tucker says the boat drifted towards the pier, allowing both passengers to climb over the bow and get off safely. People were able to grab the front of that boat bow and pull it down and hold it. So people and told the two people to get off the boat, get off the boat. They got off the boat. That's the operator explaining what happened to firefighters who responded to the call, but since the fire was out, they left once police arrived to investigate. They were interviewing the, the gentleman and the lady that came off the boat. And shortly thereafter, they handcuffed the gentleman. He knew he was toast for sure. Yeah, I don't think he understood his surroundings and what had transpired. He had had a bit too much to drink for sure. The Port Authority says it's the responsibility of the owner and insurer to have the boat removed. And the Port says it's cooperating to have that done as soon as possible. However, at this time, they don't have an exact timeline for when this boat will be removed.